second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations so this second order uh, that it is the type 2 here type 2 which is representing the second order linear homogeneous recurrence relations recurrence relations okay see second order means we are going to have two terms which are repeating itself on the right hand side or you can also write it like this b of a n my n plus 2 uh, plus c into a n plus 1 plus d into a n is equal to 0 okay in the same way you can have third order fourth fourth order or whatever order you want so you can have any order of reconciliation all that matters is how many recurring uh, you know equation or recurring relations you will having you will be having for example here we have two okay so to solve this second order recurrence relation how to solve how to solve is first of all we will try to find the roots for example here uh, how to how we'll find the roots if we are going to make r raised to power let uh, a n is equal to r raised to power n so we'll change this equation this equation will become b of r raised to power n plus 2 plus c of r raised to power n plus 1 plus d of r raised to power n is equal to 0 then you can divide the entire equation by r raised to power n so this equation will become b of r square c of r plus d is equal to 0 now you can see it became a quadratic equation for this quadratic equation you try to find the roots now the roots can be of three types it can be distinct distinct real roots distinct real roots or it can be repeated real roots repeated real roots or it can be complex roots it can be complex roots we have distinct real roots repeated real roots and complex roots now first of all let us look at what are distinct real roots uh, we'll try to get an equation for that so it is the type 2 part a that means we are going to discuss about the distinct real roots distinct real roots okay for distinct real roots the procedure will be same the only difference between all these three is the uh, solution equation okay so procedure will be same that is uh, we get the equation from this equation we'll try to find the quadratic equation quadratic equation from this quadratic equation we'll try to find the roots and from these roots we'll try to solve the equation by the following uh, equation that is a n is equal to capital a r1 raised to power n plus capital b r2 raised to power n then we'll try to find the value of a and capital a and capital b okay so this is how we are going to solve these kind of equations so let us take an example of this assuming that the equation which we have is a n is equal to 5 a n minus 1 minus 6 a n minus 2 and they are saying that a of 0 is equal to 1 and a of 1 is equal to 1 so we need to solve this recurrence uh, relation to find the equation so uh, what is the procedure first of all take this equation and uh, replace a n with r raised to power n so let let a n can be written as r raised to power n hence this equation will become r raised to power n is equal to 5 r raised to power n minus 1 minus 6 r raised to power n minus 2 now divide the complete left hand side and right hand side or divide both LHS and RHS by r raised to power n minus 2 therefore this equation will become r square is equal to 5 r minus 6 now you can take this in the left hand side so it can be written as r square minus 5 r plus 6 is equal to 0 now try to uh, solve this equation you can get r square minus 2r minus 3r plus 6 is equal to 0 take r as common r minus 2 minus 3 as common r minus 2 is equal to 0 so it can be written as r minus 2 
multiplied by r minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore the roots are 2 and 3 so we have two roots and both are distinct and real sometimes these roots can be you know uh, they can repeat themselves so that we, that is our second part what happens when we repeat the roots so if we got the roots now we will try to substitute the values of these roots into this equation so therefore the equation which we are going to get is a n is equal to capital A 2 raised to power n that is the this first root plus capital B 3 raised to power n that is the second root okay now you can find the value of a and b how will you find it because we already know we know that we already know that uh, a of 0 is equal to 1 and a of 1 is equal to 1 so let n is equal to 0 let n is equal to 0 so this equation will become a of 0 is equal to capital A 2 raised to power 0 plus capital B 3 raised to power 0 which is equal to which implies which can give a of 0 is equal to a plus b a of 0 is equal to a plus b right we already know the value of a of 0 so this equation can be written as a plus b capital a plus b can be given as capital or can be given as 1 now in the same way the we already know the value of a of 1 so let n is equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 so this equation will become a of 1 is equal to capital a 2 raised to power 1 plus capital b 3 raised to power 1 so it, uh, you can see that this is 2a plus 3b uh, for this a of 1 now from this equation and this equation we can see a of 1 the value of a of 1 is also 1 okay so this equation can give us 2a plus 3b is also 1 now we got this is the first equation and we got this is the second equation try to solve this equation you can get the root so uh, multiplying the first equation by 2 so this becomes 2a plus 2b is equal to 2 and uh, uh, take the second equation as it is so it is 2a plus 3b is equal to 1 subtract both of them so if you subtract it this will give us minus b is equal to 1 or you can say b is equal to minus 1 if you know the value of b you can substitute the value of b okay and then you can find the value of a so you can see the value of a will now be 2 so b of value is minus 1 and a is 2 so you can substitute these values into this equation um, which is the equation this equation to find the solution to find the solution so this equation will become a of n is equal to the value of capital A is 2 so 2 uh, r raised to power 2 into 2 raised to power n plus the value of b is minus 1 so it is minus 1 into 3 raised to power n so you can take this solution and uh, yes this is the solution equation for this uh, uh, recurrence relation ok now let us look at the next example of uh, recurrence relation where the roots are repeat, uh, repeated and they are real